Hello everyone and welcome back to our 8XT build. Uh, of course we are building this Nitro. If you're just joining us for the first episode here, we are doing bag A on our build. Um, if you missed our intro video, make sure you go back and check that out. Kind of just uh, went over our general idea of the build. Uh, unboxed the kit, assembled our bench, uh, took our tools out of the bag, or our toolbox. And uh, now we're diving into the build here. So it looks like bag A is going to be starting off with diffs. So that's going to be front diff, center diff, and the rear diff. Uh, the first diff we're assembling here is the rear. Uh, the 8XT does have a little bit uh, different rear, di rear diff setup than the original 8T uh, 4.0. So uh, I don't know if you guys are TLR fans if you're watching this, but before the drive shaft out of the gearbox would come out on the far uh, right hand side if you're in the car and now with the 8XT it's centralized in the gearbox so when we put the ring onto the outside of this diff you're going to notice that the ring uh, kind of goes over the top of the diff a lot and it lines up towards the center of the diff and that's actually because the ring and pinion is located in the center of the gearbox instead of on the far right of the gearbox like on previous models of the Truggies and like on the 8X Buggy. Uh, so that's a new thing that's coming with this Truggy. Uh, just general uh, builds, nothing too crazy to watch out for on the diffs. Uh, make sure you put your spider gears in uh, on the correct orientation. We'll go over that in the, uh, the front diff again. But um, the cool thing I thought with the diffs in the manual is it actually gives you a weight of what the diff should be filled all the way up. So you can calculate that by, as you can see, putting the diff on a scale and filling that oil up until you get to that preferred weight that it says in the manual. Uh, now this isn't going to work correctly if you use different uh, oil weights. So you just want to be sure you're using the kit oils or you just don't use that weight if you're switching up the oil. Now one thing I like to do here that it doesn't say to do in the manual is actually put the sun gear on top of the oil in the gears before you put the ring gear on. Because I feel when you put the sun gear onto the ring gear and then try and flip it over onto the diff cup, the ring gear always falls out. Uh, maybe that's just user, uh, user experience on my end, but I prefer to put that sun gear on the gears and then put the ring gear on top. Uh, just a little bit easier build for me personally. And then, like I said in the intro build, I am using a power driver, but you need to make sure that you don't drive those screws in too far where you're going to strip out the plastics. So make sure you go back and hand tighten the screws to the desired tension with a hand drill. Now I sped this up a little bit because the front diff is basically the same as the rear diff. Um, the ring is on the, let's see, it'd be on the left side here, uh, other than the center, like on the rear. Um, I'll show you guys the, the spider gear lineup here. So if you're looking into the diff cup, there's channels that the spider gear uh, shafts lay into. One channel goes deeper than the other channel. You want to make sure you put your first set of spider gears into that deeper channel so they can sit all the way on top of that bottom sun gear. And like on the rear diff, all of the diffs have weights uh, in the manual. You'll see that if you're building a truck. Uh, it'll show the weight. You can put it on a scale and such. Um, nothing too different here on the front diff. The center diff is a lot different than the front and rear, so we'll go over that one in a second. Alright, so we're getting the center diff unboxed here now. This center diff is called an HD diff. So what this is, is the cross braces uh, for the spider beers, spider gear, sorry, go into kind of a post that slides into the diff cup. Uh, I'm assuming this is just to make it a bit more secure uh, and stable because we are putting a higher volume oil in this diff. So it's made to lock it up a little bit. One thing I didn't like about this too much is that the gears seem really tight. Um, the, I'm going to say, metal posts that the shafts go into were really tight. They didn't want to spin very free. But I'm assuming once you run the truck for, let's say, 
half a tank of fuel or a half a gallon of fuel, uh, those diffs are going to be nice and broken. You're going to need to replace them anyways. So um, nothing too different and weird there. You do, do need to make sure you pay attention to the orientation of those posts going in because there's a flat side and then there's a curved side. That curved side is going to press up against the outer portion of the cup and the flat side is going to sit on the inside of the diff cup so the spider gears can spin freely on that. Um, that's one thing I made sure of before I put the diff together once I noticed it was kind of a little crunchy, uh, but I'm sure it'll free up in, uh, in running time. <laughs> So what I was trying to do here is when I get the spider gears in there, because I said they were kind of tight, I was trying to pull them out towards the outside of the cup just to see if they would free up a little bit. And they did a little bit, but not as much as I was hoping. Now this I was pretty surprised at, that the uh, diff weight, not the not the actual physical weight of the uh, diff, but the oil that comes with it is a hundred. No, it wasn't that high. It was twelve thousand. Yeah, I think it was twenty five hundred diff oil, uh, which I thought was pretty heavy. So we'll maybe we'll see that and tune around with that in the in the future. But uh, I did overfill the diff a little bit right there, so I just wipe it off with a paper towel, make sure it's to the top of the gears. I put my sun gear in and put my cap on and that's going to wrap up this video so I hope you guys enjoyed kind of the the diff going together uh, not too much going on just diffs in this video the first three bags aren't the most exciting parts of the build but uh, we're getting it done so make sure you guys stay tuned for the next builds and thanks for watching guys